Hey everybody, what's going on? I wanted to take uh, this time to share my thoughts on the most terrible, atrocious, tragic events that happened to George Floyd, uh, a man in Minnesota whose life was taken from him um, while he pleaded for help and he was suffocated at the hands of a white officer who uh, who sat, who pressed his knee into his neck and suffocated him. And the reason why I'm making this video is because in the past, I've chosen, you know, not to address uh, these overt acts of racism directly because I, I don't feel like it's my place being a white passing male who has privilege in this time, however, I recognize that silence only helps the oppressor. It never helps the oppressed. And as a white passing man, um, I'm Hispanic um, and Italian. I believe it's necessary to speak up in order to create a space for white individuals to unlearn and uncondition some very deep rooted beliefs that they may have that cause these overt acts of racism. Racism is a white person problem. It is not for black people to re-educate white people on how to treat others with respect. It is not black people's responsibility to show you that they are not criminals. It is your responsibility to unlearn and actively uncondition deeply stereotypical beliefs that plague our society and no longer serve us. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to share how white individuals can play their role in the best way possible and, and be allies in a moment like this, right? As a white man, I've never experienced multiple intersectionalities with that privilege. I've never lived a day being black in America and I am a man. These are two independent privileges that I have in a white patriarchal society that we live in today in the United States of America. We have to unlearn and uncondition deep stereotypical beliefs that plague society and no longer serve us. In my opinion, it is offensive to investigate the obvious. Nothing bothers me more as a listener when the media our, our law enforcement, our government, our authority figures attempt to feign, to fake compassion when we say things like the FBI and the Minnesota De Police Department are investigating the death of George Floyd. What is there to investigate? 
we all we all witnessed the obvious it bothers me when we say we're taking time to investigate because the longer time that you take diminutizes how obvious the murder that happened in front of our eyes really was. When we have personal confrontations with each other, we're able to investigate who's right and who's wrong pretty quickly. How many hours do you need, 24 hours, to ask some people some questions around what happened, to understand how the encounter occurred, for the result to still end that George Floyd died because he was murdered. Nothing that George Floyd did prior to his encounter with the police and nothing that happened prior to the police getting there affect the fact that George Floyd was still murdered. So as a white passing individual, one thing that white people can do is to stop saying, I'm sorry. And start showing that you're sorry. When tragic events like this, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, Trayvon Martin, et cetera, et cetera, when these happen, we get on, white people get on TV and say, I'm sorry. We say, I'm sorry. Black people have been the most forgiving race out of all human beings. They have been being said to, I'm sorry for a long time, only for more, only for different white people to betray their trust again, right? White people ripped millions of blacks from Africa looked at them and said, I'm sorry, can you forgive me? Then we segregated. I say we because I'm white passing and I'm addressing the white audience that's listening to this video. After saying, I'm sorry, we institutionalized many things that put them and other minorities at a disadvantage. Then say, I'm sorry. Yet, we are bystanders to these institutionalized, biased, stereotypical belief systems that plague society and no longer serve us. We are so quick to condemn the black man as a criminal yet are so slow to condemn the white oppression. The white officer who need George Floyd in his neck is so quick to condemn him as a criminal, yet the police department and the FBI are so slow in investigating the obvious Yet George Floyd was not given. Ahmaud Arbery was not given. Trayvon Martin was not given that same space, that same security. White domestic terrorists, white men who kill in mass shootings have been graciously taken into police custody unharmed and unscathed for murder and George Floyd is dead over a non-violent incident a forged check is forgery wrong 
Yes. Does forging a check ever result in your death? No. If he needed to be placed in a police car, he could have been. The police, they take an oath to protect and serve. They do not take an oath to police us. The laws are created to marginalize a small amount of individuals who break them. Our laws are not created for the majority of us who are good people. The police are sworn to protect and serve us against those who are bad and are harming our security and safety. They did not sign up to police us which they are so evidently doing especially to minorities especially to blacks and as a white person what you can do is you can speak up when you see things that are wrong you can use your influence to empower those who do not have a voice. You must actively unlearn and uncondition stereotypical beliefs that you may have been taught by your parents or your grandparents who are racist. It is okay to say, I once thought that way and now I don't. It's okay to admit you are wrong. You were wrong. And now you've done something to change and believe something new. This must end.